Welcome to Electron Line. Here we have a polar function which is actually an exponential function. r is equal to e to the theta divided by 2. And if you graph that, first of all, let's start with theta equals 0. When theta is 0, e to the 0 is 1, so r is equal to 1. And as then theta increases in size, you can see that the curve spirals outward. And we're trying to find the length of the curve from theta equals 0 to theta equals pi, which would be from here all the way to there. What is the length of that? Well, again, the equation is the same. The length is equal to the integral from a to b of the square root of the function squared plus the function prime squared, or the derivative of the function squared. So the function r equals uh, e to the theta over 2, and then the derivative of that function, f prime of theta, is equal to, well, e to the x, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, times the derivative of the exponent, which would be 1 half. So in this case, it would be 1 half e to the theta divided by 2. All right, we have the, deriv we have the function and the derivative of the function, so let's go ahead and plug it in. So we have the length is equal to the integral. The limits are given to us from 0 to pi. Those are the limits for theta times the square root, or the derivative or the integral of the square root of the function squared, which is e to the theta divided by 2 quantity squared plus 1 half e to the theta over 2 quantity squared times d theta. So let's go ahead and square those and see what we end up with. So the length is equal to the integral from 0 to pi of the square root of e to the theta over 2 squared. Remember, when you square something, as when you square an exponent, it's like multiplying the exponent. That gives you e to the theta plus 1, one half squared is 1 fourth. And this e to the theta over 2 squared gives us e to the theta. So in this case, d theta. So in this case, that's equal to the integral from 0 to pi of 5 fourths square root of 5 fourths e to the theta d theta. And we could pull out of 5 fourths, so we can say that the length is equal to the square root of 5 over 2 times the integral from 0 to pi of the square root of e to the theta times d theta. Now the square root of e to the theta would be e to the theta divided by 2 because the square root is a it's like one half e to the one half, so we get the square root. Oop, yep, the square root of five divided by two times the integral from zero to pi. Take the square root of that. You get e to the theta divided by two d theta. Now to integrate that, we're going to need a one half d theta because the exponent theta divided by two needs a proper differential. So we need a one half in front. So we need to multiply this times 2, and so the 2's will cancel. So this gives us the square root of 5 times the integral from 0 to pi of e to the theta divided by 2 times 1 half d theta. So now we're ready to integrate. When we do that, we get the following. So this is equal to the square root of 5 times e to the theta divided by 2 Evaluate from 0 to pi. We plug in the upper value, so this is equal to the square root of 5 times, plug in the upper value, you get e to the pi divided by 2 minus, when we plug in the lower value, e to the 0. And of course, e to 0 is equal to 1, so this becomes the square root of 5 times e to the pi divided by 2 minus 1. And this would be the length of that curve. To get a feel for if that's even close to what we should be getting, let's take a look here. Notice that when, uh, when the angle is equal to pi, when we're over here, how long would this section be right here? So e to the pi divided by 2. Let's get a calculator. So let's see here. Let's take uh, pi divided by 2. Use that as exponent of e, that gives me 4.8. And so that's the distance from there to there is 4.8. Let's go ahead and write that down. Distance from there is 4.8, and the distance from there to there is 1. So that's about 5, that's about 6. So this distance is about 6, but we take kind of a curve to it. 
So if I double that, that gives us about 12. Let's see what number we get here. So we get um, e to the pi over 2. So again, we take pi divided by 2, use that exponent, subtract 1 from that, and then multiply that times the square root of 5, and we get about 8.5. So 8.5, 12, it seems to be kind of in the neighborhood of what you would expect it to be, right? So the idea is that from there to there is about 6, and according to our calculation, this, this distance from there to there is about 8.5, which seems reasonable. Not that it's exact, that we know of, but it seems that our answer seems to be a reasonable answer under the circumstances. So I have fairly good confidence that it's correct, and that's how it's done.